Hello, child of God. Hope you are good. Hope you are doing fine just as I am. So, currently you have been going through what they call a spiritual warfare and a spiritual attack at the same time. <laughs> and I confirmed this with my nine of clubs card which talks about um confusion and all that okay so this is what is happening at the moment or already happened or will happen depends on the timeline so you are bathing to a new version of you you are transforming into a new being you are breaking cycles okay you are moving through dimensions and at the same time you are breaking castles so during this time of course your ego is going to be fighting a lot a lot because first of all during this time this is when what they call an ego death is happening to you and it's used to being in control so of course it's going to come up with all kinds of stories to convince you that oh no 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 you are not on the right path or you are making a mistake to do this you are a lot is going to be happening in your mind or is already happening to you at the moment there is confusion but then as you are still on that there comes these witches <laughs> yes you heard me well witches and baby when i say witches i don't mean the ones that come to your mind first like oh i think it's so no 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 i mean there is a whole cult a coven out there on you okay i don't know whose message is this i think this is for but uh yes there is a whole out there is a whole system that doesn't want to see you cross over that doesn't want to see you break through this transformation first of all you have spiritual gifts that are worth fighting for you could be like a spiritual healer you could be a prophet you could be uh, someone that is an empath a psychic a reader there is something about you whoever this message is for there is something about you. you could be a dreamer you could be just someone who is waking up but these people already know the energy that you embody and they know that if you truly cross over if you truly wake up then it's done for them this is a group of people that are feeding on your energy and they have been for a very long time and for them their main issue is they want you as an ally they want you to cross over to their side if you are someone that is not religious they want you to be religious so that they can always be on the winning team because baby your spiritual gifts or the position that you hold in the spiritual realm is worth fighting for you are a very great ally okay so these witches they are sending in energies that are not so good to you so that they can slow down this process so in the beginning i told you you are having a warfare you are already fighting with yourself and at the same time there is this attack so that becomes too much that's why you have been getting this feeling of nostalgia lately you have been feeling like i want to go home this is not my home <laughs> like this world is not your home like you are so lost this is all the effects of everything that is happening at once you know uh, the attack and the warfare baby you have been feeling like i'm grounding i'm doing everything but 
there is confusion okay some of you this has also affected your finances they are going to um, as far as affecting your finances so that you can adapt the lack mentality because in that way they believe you won't be able to manifest uh, think or you will go asking for money from them there is a lot they are doing that's all I can say there's a lot they are doing so but baby I want you to know that uh, first of all I still confirmed what I'm gonna say with the six of clubs that you need to take action because your spirit team is uh, or has been or will always be <laughs> Your spirit team is fighting 24-7. It's working day and night so that you don't lose the position that you hold, so that you stay aligned with your purpose. They are, they are working so hard with you, but they want you to take action. You get This is the time for you to stop being a victim and stand up and be the God that you are. So I asked Spirit what you are supposed to do specifically and I was told that you need to isolate. During that isolation you are going to fast and pray for a couple of days. I've just been doing it as well like I've been fasting not eating for so many days just drinking water. So if you can do what they call a dry fasting because this is a spiritual attack by people that are not just witches but a system that is out there out there too that's they're feeding on your energy they are energy vampires there there is a lot i cannot explain but you need to, to to go in as well at this time you know fast for three days if you can if you cannot do it um, you can still do the normal fasting, not the dry fasting. That's what Spirit is telling me to tell you. Because you need to get back and ground your energy fully. Because like I, I told you, you are having a lot of energies that are scattered. So fasting helps you align your system with the universe. So as you can be able to tap into the spirit realm for guidance and protection anytime so you are going to stay out of conversations that are not uplifting rather gossip because right now anything can be used against you in the spirit realm don't let them know your next move even if it's a small one like by them i mean even your closest ones don't let them know okay spend time in nature spend time with uh, animals uh, make fires you know usually i recommend ban and release write down things that you you feel things that you want to release and throw them in the fire because baby you are about to bring down a whole occult a whole system that is that is that built its foundation on evil just because of your resilience just because of the energy that you hold within you so Trust me, you are on the right path and everything is working out for your highest good. Everything is working out in your favor. Like, <laughs> your spirit team is out here with pangas and all weapons they can have at the moment fighting for you because they want to see you win. Okay, baby? I love you so much. I love you a lot and may this... Holy Spirit, the beautiful Spirit, the Spirit of Love, fill you with guidance and knowledge. And don't forget to follow your intuition. Okay? Kisses. More kisses. More kisses. More kisses. I love you, okay? Take care.